Welcome to my class students, class 5, subject mathematics. So in your previous class you have learned what do you mean by protractor? How to measure an angle with the help of a protractor and with the help of a ruler. You have learned what is an angle also, how is angle formed also. Now we will be learning types of angles. Types of angles, we have different types of angles. First angle here is Acute angle. What do you mean by acute angle? You can observe the figure here. That is angle LOM. The angle whose measure lies between 0 and 90 degree is called an acute angle. With the help of a protractor, if you measure here, that is on the center, that is origin, vertex, I am placing on O. If I measure it, I am getting here 30 degree, that is less than 90 degree, we term that as acute angle. Right angle, observe the figure here, an angle whose measure is 90 degree, exact 90 degree, that is called an right angle. Next we have obtuse angle, an angle whose measure lies between 90 and 180 is called an obtuse angle. Acute angle less than 90 degree. Right angle exact 90 degree. Obtuse angle which lies between 90 and 180. Now let us learn what do you mean by straight angle. An angle whose measure is exact 180 degree. Just see here. 180 degree is called a straight angle. It is half turn. It is just the half of the protractor. Next reflex angle. An angle whose measure lies between 180 and 330 degree. That is 180 and 360 degree. That is if I reverse the protractor here. See. I am reversing the protractor, I am placing on the origin here and then I get the measurement. That is nothing but reflex angle. Next we have complete angle. The complete set of the protractor, complete set of the protractor and angle whose measure is 360 degree. If you see in the protractor you have 180 here. Again we start from 0, we have 180 here. That is if we reverse like this. That is the whole circle. This is a semicircle. And next here the semicircle. This is a complete angle. Next we have zero angle. An angle whose measure is just zero degree is called zero angle. Let us look at the clocks here and just tell which angle it is. Clock K. I am placing on the origin here. That is on the red line. I get there 30 degree. So, it is less than 90 degree. It is an acute angle. Next clock I have here exactly on 90 degree. So, I can tell that it is exactly 90 degree. So, it is a right angle. The next clock I have uh, placed on the origin here. The next clock I have the measurement that is more than 90 and less than 180 degree. So it is called an obtuse angle. Now in this clock D I have the origin. I have placed on the origin. The point is placed on the origin. And the blue line you can just observe it is 180 degree. So it is a which angle? It is 180 degree so it is straight angle. Next I have a clock here that is clock E. I am placing on the origin that is a red line and see our blue line. So it is reverse that is I should reverse the protractor like this for the measurement. I have kept like this on the red line and it is more than 180 degree. So it is a reflex angle. An angle equal to 360 degree is called a complete angle. 
I have shown you how can we construct an angle that is an acute angle, obtuse angle and, and all with the help of the ruler and the protractor you can construct an angle that is placed on the origin point that is on the red line how we did on the clocks there and just see the measurement you will get the angle there. Next exercise 2 which of the following figure represents an angle see here is this an angle is are these two lines meeting at one particular point that is origin? No, this is not an angle. This is also not an angle. Observe C. Observe figure C. You can see the two lines there. You can name it anything. That is angle OA or angle OB. It is just meeting at a space that is at a point this vertex. So, here an angle is formed. So, you can tell that and figure C and figure D represents an angle. Next, with the help of a protractor, you can place the protractor on the origin here. See, I have placed the protractor on the origin. So, what is the measurement I am getting? It is an complete angle. That is 180 degree. The rest of the sums you can do it by yourself. Third main, what is the measure of right angle? As I have said you earlier, I have explained you what do you mean by right angle. It is 90 degree. And complete angle is the complete angle. It is 360 degree. So in exercise 2, this measures 180 degree. So it is a straight angle. No need to write which angle it is. Just do the measurement. That is enough students. Fourth main, match, mark each angle as acute. Acute, what do you mean by acute, you know, no? Obtuse, reflex, straight or complete. I have explained you everything. You can do it by yourself. Fifth main here, construct the following angles using a protractor and ruler. Let us do this. Only one I am just doing and showing you. You can do the rest of it by yourself. So, I am constructing that is 45 degree with the help of the ruler you can place the ruler on the sheet that is in your classwork just draw the line of any centimeter that is 5 or 6 mark the point here that is the origin the starting point to the ending point I have marked the point name the point here that is O A with the help of the protractor now. Now place the protractor on origin that is on O. See I have placed it. Now observe in the protractor you have certain measurements here. See here 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Don't go here. See the down measurements here. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. The base should be straight students. If the base is not straight, you can't construct the proper angle there. They have said you to construct 45 degree. Observe the markings here on the lower lines here. Observe the markings. Where do you find 45? Here we find 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. Mark it there. I have marked there 45. Just place a point. Now with the help of your ruler, Join the two points here. That is point O from where you have drawn the point. Now name that point as B and write the angle that is 45 degree. You have constructed angle. Complete exercise 2 in your classwork.